One of the important things in a flipped class video is getting feedback from the students. Creating some kind of an interactivity so that when the students watch the video, they have something to do with the video. So one great tool for this is using a Google Form. Today, and that was easy, we're going to learn how to create a Google Form to provide feedback for a flipped class video. Right now, I am in my Google Drive. So this assumes you've got a Google Drive account. I'm in Google Drive account and I'm going to create. I'm going to create something called a form. So click on create and form. This creates a form. A form is like an online quiz, if you will. All right? You give it uh, the form a title. So I'm going to call this um, uh, flipped class um, forms or something like that. By the way, you can pick kind of a background. Uh, I'll pick something simple. This, um, this one right here, the magazine look. Gives it a title. Now, by the way, one thing I do think is important is that you may or may not want it. If you're in your own school district and you have your own Google Apps account, you may want them to um, log in to view this form if they're in the same way. I'm going to uncheck this, and it kind of gives you a caution. There's some, some things. If you're in the same domain, you may even want to have these boxes checked at the top. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to create some questions. So lots of questions. Notice here that you've got choices of text, paragraph text, multiple choice. You can see the types of questions. We'll just write a couple of questions. We'll start with the multiple choice question. So, so the, the students have watched a particular video, right? And now I want to ask them a question. So if it's a math video, I might say add four-fifths and um, six-sevenths. And this would not, I can have multiple choices. I can say the answer is one and two or three-fourths. Um, that's answer one. The answer two is two and one half. So you can do multiple choice and then I can add another item. So let's say I want more than one question. So if I, let's say this next question, I want it to be a paragraph text. And so I want to say, why do you need to have a common denominator? You know, what, that's an important thing when you're doing adding. And so this is paragraph. So there's a longer answer. And I can say done. So that's like the second question. And I think you're getting the idea. We'll do one more. I can add a, maybe just a text-based answer. And I can say, um, who was the 32nd president? Which have nothing to do with uh, this question. But we're our uh, math video, but we're going to pretend that it is. And now I have a form. This form now, if I click on the view live form up here, this is what the students will see. So if they have this link, now that's a big, long, long uh, form. You can see the uh, uh, questions. And notice down here there's a submit button. And while we're at this, actually, you know what I would probably do? I would give you a suggestion. So I'm going to go ahead and do one other thing. Is I'm going to add one item. And possibly two. I might say, who are you? Just from an organizational perspective, is I'm going to know which student um, this is. And what I might do, notice I said, who are you? If I take this, I'm going to put that. This is the very first question. I want to make sure that I keep track of all this because it's what's going to come. It's going to come out in a spreadsheet. Um, and, and if you're uh, even more organized, you might want to say, what class are you in? So maybe I teach three sections of science. I can say, are you in period one, two, or three? And I can actually make that a multiple choice, which I would recommend. Once I've got that, I can now view the live form, and here is my, my question. Who are you? And it's all organized. I think you get the idea. The kids are then going to respond to this in some way. Now, if I click back to my form, there's the click send form. Now, at this point, there's a lot of ways to do this. You could uh, share this link. If you have a website, you can embed it. So if you copy all of this, it will embed it on a website. And I'm going to share in other videos on how you would um, embed that. Or um, another option in the send form is that you can actually send it to a specific group of email addresses. So you can send it directly to your students. I think the best way probably is, is to embed it, frankly, on your learning management system. And I'll cover that in uh, subsequent videos. So this is a way to use Google Forms to create a flipped class video. And then the last thing is once they've responded, what do you do? Well, you click on View Responses. And what it's going to do is it's going to dump them all into a spreadsheet. Now, in my particular spreadsheet, there's no data because no one's responded. But what you're going to get is for each person who watches the video, you're going to see a timestamp when they watched it. And then you'll um, have the, the questions, who are you? Now, one thing to note here is that who are you is last. And that is a bit annoying. I think I can just move it over. Yeah.
So then I'm going to get them in order. Who, I, who, and here are the answers to the questions. And I'll, I'll have all the answers. I can see who did well and who did not do well. That's how you can make a Google form for a flipped class video. Now, wasn't that easy? This has been John Bergman with FlippedClass.com.